Today we are going to discuss AutoMapper. Let's get to know different ways you can configure AutoMapper for different scenarios. This video series is split into two parts, AutoMapper Basics and AutoMapper Advanced. This is part one, the basics. We will learn the following topics in this video, after which you can watch the advanced to cover these topics. So let's start now. AutoMapper is an object mapper, which means it can map from your source class to your destination class. So let's start installing AutoMapper in one of your project. To start with, right click on your project and open NuGet Package Manager. Here you can search AutoMapper. Once you find it, hit the install button and we are good. So we mentioned AutoMapper can map from source class to destination class. Let's take an example. Assume we have two model classes, employee A and employee B. Both classes have same property names. Let's map data between employee A to employee B. To start with, we can create both source and destination classes. First, we will create our source class. What we are creating now, which is employee A, is the source class. Remember, employee A is our source class and employee B is our destination class. We need to map from A to B. And most importantly, they have the same property names. Why is that? We will get to know why. So here is our source class and here is our destination class. We talked about keeping property names same in source and destination class. Why is that? When AutoMapper maps, it heavily depends on conventions. That means it will assume if same property name exists in source and destination class, they are meant to be mapped. Now that we have created our source class employee, let's initialize with some data. Now we are done with initiating our source class employee A. Let's map it to employee B. Before that, we need to configure AutoMapper. So how can we tell AutoMapper about our mapping plans? Well, this is done by creating a mapping profile. A mapping profile is essentially a plan. It tells AutoMapper we have plans to map this to that. To create a mapping profile, simply create a class. Now we can inherit this class with a base class profile. And do you know this base class is coming from AutoMapper package? So now let's create a default constructor for this class and inside it call the create map function. So you can see that it accepts a T source and T destination, right? So source is on the left, destination is on the right. Think our case, our source is employee A and destination is employee B. We are done with the mapping profile. Let's tell the mapper about this. We will create a mapping configuration first. This is where we put all our global settings for auto mapper. Inside this configuration, register our mapping profile. This informs AutoMapper about our mapping plans that we already created. Well, we will create all an instance of this mapping profile right now here. Now we told AutoMapper about our plans in the form of a mapping profile. Now let's create a mapper out of this configuration. This gives us an iMapper which is a ready to use mapper that is all set to use. Alright, we are done everything. Now it's time to map. When we map from employee A to employee B, the result type is employee B, right? So here the result of the mapping operation is employee B and our input is an instance of employee A as you can see here. Now let's put a debugger and run the, our first mapping. Alright, here we have every data in employee A and we mapped it successfully and AutoMapper copies it to employee B instance. That mapping was a success. So now let's get into know how to handle different scenarios. You know, AutoMapper works by finding matches in property names. So what happens if one of the property name is different? Well, the thing is, if we try to map, AutoMapper will get confused as it cannot find a match and leaves it unmapped. Let's see in action and learn how to fix this. We start with our mapping profile. Here we add a for member to tell AutoMapper, hey, this one is a little different. So we will say, in my destination class, there is an employee B has a property called nation and I want this to be mapped from my source that's employee A's country. AutoMapper now maps other properties by convention and for this specific property map like we define. So we executed mapping again, we have the country as USA here and it's mapped to nation. Next step, think opposite mapping. I mean taking employee B as the source and A as the destination. Let's say we need, we like to map in reverse direction. Do you think AutoMapper supports it? Well, not by default. Let's try by reversing our mapping and see the failure in action. I reverse the source and destination and running now. Now this employee B's instance, let's run and you got the error. What it says, let's open it, let's open the view details and here you see. So it says there is a missing mapping from B to A. This means it cannot work by default. So what's the solution? Obviously we can add another mapping in the reverse order like this. 
So we'll create another create map and reverse it. And now if you run, it will pass. Let's see. Got it, right? But we don't need to make this this complicated. Automapper has a reverse map function. This allows us to map in opposite direction without needing to create another map. Now let's run again and you will see the same result. Time for another scenario. Let's discuss when transformers is useful. Assume we have a successful mapping from this to this. All right. How, however, let's say you need to make first name and last name to uppercase. The obvious option is adding another four member to this existing map to make first name and last name uppercase. We are essentially telling automapper that handle these properties little differently. How? We will say that, okay, here is my destination first name and let's say how we want to make it from the source. Here we tell, take first name from the source, make it uppercase, alright? Then map it into destination. Similarly for the last name. So we have added two four members here. And let's run this and as you assume this works well and good. How about making all the strings uppercase rather just first name and last name. For a model with lot of properties it's not possible to write all the maps by hand right. This is when we write transform. Alright. Here we can add a transform saying that take all the strings from the source and transform it to uppercase. As simple as it is. Works with any type also. Now let's run this and you will see all the strings got transformed. Alright. Now let's take another scenario. Sometimes we don't need to map a specific property. Here let's say I don't need to map salary but others. But by default automapper maps everything it sees. To tell it we don't need to map this is by adding a for member and flag it to ignore. So we are saying that hey for the salary I want to ignore it. That's it. Simple. Let's run it and see. So here we have the salary populated, right here salary is now ignored from the mapping. That's all about Automapper basics. To know more on different scenario handling, watch part 2. Thank you for watching.